Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Adventures in Growing Four Leaf Clovers. And today we have something very special to show. But before we get to that, um, I know what you're thinking. It's been quite some time since the last episode. And in truth, that's just because there hasn't been really anything interesting to report on. Um, now, I know that hasn't stopped me from making a report anyway, but this time we actually do have something interesting to show you all. The most eagle-eyed among you might be able to tell what that is. I'll give you a hint. Uh, uh, can you guess what it is? That's right. We have a clover in this cup. And not only that, but these are clovers that actually have some roots. You can see. So in the past, I've tried trimming clovers and putting them into water to see if they grow roots. But usually what ends up happening is I cut them too short or I cut them too long, or maybe a little bit of both, and then um, they end up not growing any roots, and then they end up dying after a few days. In fact, uh, a bit of a spoiler, that's what ended up happening to the uh, chunky salsa jar clover. Um, it ended up dying because uh, it didn't have any roots. But thankfully, this one actually does have some roots. Finally have been working and perfecting the clover picking, putting into water, and letting grow roots technique, and we have something to show for it. So here we have two clovers, and guess what? The average number of leaves is four. That's right. We have one, two, three, four clover leaves on that one, and one, two, three, four clover leaves on that one. And so if you combine that, you'll notice that we've got two four-leaf clovers. And not only that, but these four-leaf clovers seem to be growing from slightly different parts of the stem. A bit hard to see in the chaos in there, but this four-leaf clover and that four-leaf clover are actually growing from slightly different parts of the plant. So that makes me hopeful that this particular specimen might actually have some genes for growing four-leaf clovers. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put it in some dirt, and hopefully this will be the grandparent for all future four-leaf clover videos.